What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we did nothing but go through Route 118 through 123, and yes, I know, I know, I'm going piece by piece, but I think it makes the game just a little bit better right here because, well, no speed button means, well, nothing else. Now, if you guys can see right here, this cyclist cannot do anything. He's like, it's no good. When I ride my bike in the tall grass, nobody can see my coolness. And that is because, well, he's going to get tangled around right here. And, well, we are literally in a thunderstorm. And I just heard something roar. Like, did you guys see that? Now, what I'm trying to do is stay away from that guy. And that is a big, big Pokemon right there. And I'm going to capture it. Okay. How's it going? So everybody, take a look at this Pokemon right here. The name is Tropius. This Pokemon right here is a very interesting one because I never, ever, ever thought that... Uh, well, I never really thought much of Tropius at all as a when as it pertains to a... What was it called? A, a flying type. Um, I'm going to hit it with a charge beam. And... There we go. This Pokemon can take a good hit, but... Oh, wow, it's about to use a uh, whirlwind right here. So, let's go right ahead and throw a good Pokeball at it. Obviously, I like to use Pokeballs that, you know, match the theme of the Pokemon right here. And, well, it looks like we're going to throw a Nest Ball at this guy right here. And, one, there's two, there's three. Holy buckets, we got them. So, ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Tropius. Oh, my God. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at Tropius' uh, his data right here. So, look at this. Tropius, the fruit Pokemon, it is a female right here. It is both grass and flying. Children, children of the southern tropics eat as, snacks the, uh, eat as snacks the fruit that grows in the brun uh, bunches around the neck of Tropius. This Pokemon flies by flapping its leaves on its back if they were wings, which is cool. And uh, yeah, I am going to be nicknaming this Pokemon right here because, well, maybe just maybe I want to use this guy. Maybe. We will find out soon. So what kind of a good nickname would be for Tropius? Hmm, I got it. Ladies and gentlemen, Trope. We're going to be calling this Pokemon Tropicana after the drink. You know, <laughs> I still got a little bit of like the Latino in me. Oh yeah, we are naming this Pokemon Tropicana. I will see you soon. Anywho, that's a Pokemon car, and, uh, well, if you guys notice, there are people moving around from place to place, and these guys are called the Mimic Circle, which, you know, the name says it all. They mimic your movements and all that stuff, and, well, you're gonna be battling, I believe, five of these. Don't quote me on that, but yes. And what a better place to battle some people than right here where it's raining like nobody's business. Discharge is about to mess you up. Look at this. Oh, yes. Dustox survives. Holy crud. Okay. That right there is scary. Okay, so let's go with a charge beam for the win. And look at that. Say goodbye to Tropius. Or no, not Tropius. A Dustox right here. And Shadow Eye grows to level 35 right here. And there you go. All right. So let's see. We are looking at some pretty good to some pretty good members right here. So let's go right ahead and use Olay, mainly for the fact that it's Swift Swim. I think that's what it is. It will, you know, it will gain its speed. And well, we got two people right here, and he's like, "Yep, you finally caught me." Or were you trying to avoid me? I don't know. Either or, I was trying to. Here we go, taking on Bugcatcher Doug, and he is coming out with a Volbeat right here. All right, Olay, time to do it. And because of this rain, Ole gets a nice boost in both, you know, water attacks and speed. And there you go. Oh my god. Volbeat defeated. Okay, alrighty. So let's see. Illumi Illumise is coming out. Let's go ahead and get this Ole. Keep it going with a good old 
surf attack right here. All right, okay, and uh, there you go. And just like that. Mm-hmm. That's how you do it right there. Okay, so Doug has been defeated, and we got another trainer right here waiting for us. So let's go right ahead and see what this guy's all about. This guy's probably a maniac. So we finally meet! My bug Pokemon will keep you company. Again, don't know why bug type trainers... Yeah, they why they, they keep to one. But here we're taking on Beautifly. And... Well, let's go right ahead and go with a Surf Attack. Yeah, buddy, okay. Surf Attack for the win. And there you go. Oh, yes. And Ole has grown to level 42 right here. And, well, Thunderball, level 44. Guy of the Fierce Knight crosses that 40-yard line. And, yes, it's learning Future Sight, but that's a move that I don't want to use. And just like that, we have defeated Donald. Oh, yes, we're taking it. We're taking it to him. Okay, so, now that I, now I remember, in the last episode, yes, we, we, uh, what was it called? Um, oh, wow. Huh. In the last episode, we got ourselves a new move, and that was Dazzling Gleam, which, if you guys don't know, this move is a very powerful fairy-type move, which we're going to be teaching Guy of the Fierce Knight. And we're going to be taking away its Draining Kiss, since we don't really need it anymore. And there we go. And there it is. Okay, Dazzling Gleam has been taught. And, well, let's see. There might be a Pokemon Trainer here or there. I haven't gotten to... Oh, I've gotten to this guy. And there is another Pokemon right here that it's uh, it's calling us. And as you guys can see, it is a Kecleon. That is another Pokemon that, well... As cool as it looks... I did want to try it at one point, but then I was like, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, that's not... That's not going to happen right there. So... Huh... Let's go with an earth. Uh, let's go with a surf attack. See where that lies, and that destroys the Kecleon. So my bad. Okay. Alrighty. So let's see. Who's next in this uh, thing? Okay. So I see one person moving, and we do need to put on some more repels because yes, we don't want to get attacked by more Pokemon. And this is another person of the Mimic Circle. So let's go right ahead and take on another bug maniac, and his name is Brent, and he is coming out with a Masquerain. So that right there. Okay, so that right there, I thought was going to be a, a hard decision or uh, the worst decision I'll ever make. So I'm going to be switching it out to to Thunderball right here because well. It's much more of a better advantage right here. And, well, here comes a scary face attack. Yeah. He must have known that we're we're a lot more speedy than this guy right here. So let's see what Discharge does. We are still fast. And there you go. Masquerain. Defeated. And, well, everybody else is gaining some points. Here comes Ninja. So I'm going to keep Thunderball right here. And... Well, let's go right ahead and go straight for the uh, get, go straight for the discharge attack. And this guy right here is just like, oh wow. Okay, so just like that, it has a speed boost, and this could be an issue. So here comes another double team attack. Yeah, you're messing with the wrong Pokemon right now. And discharge does its trick. And well. That right there gives us a little bit more. And, yes, Brent, yeah, he, he just didn't like that. Now, Ninjask, although it's a pesky Pokemon, it's still a very good strategic Pokemon because you get speed either way. And, well, here we are taking on a Pokemon Ranger. Her name is Catherine. And, yeah, she is coming out with a Breloom. So this one right here is... Yeah, this one right here is going to be a tough one. So, let's see. We are faster than that, right? And here comes a faint attack. That may... Well, that, that, that does hit us pretty hard. So here we go. Surf attack with the boost. Not very effective, but it does some damage. A lot of damage. And here comes another mock punch. Oh, yes. Ole, defensive man. Looks like a duck with a poncho and a sombrero. That's funny. 
And there we go. Getting some more points. Tommy JDF grows to level 47. Latias, without doing anything, grows to level 32. And it's learning a new move, and that is recover. Heal pulse right here. The user emits healing pulse, which restores the target's HP by up to half the max. Yeah. We're going to forget that because I see where that heal pulse is, and it's referred to its partner and all that, but yeah, when does. When does good old Draven do any kind of do double battles and all that stuff? Not a lot. Okay, so I think, yeah, there is about one or two two more people here that, you know. Yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and battle this guy. And, well, it's time. Taking on Bugcatcher Greg, and he is coming out with a beautiful eye right here. We're going with Ole. And... It is raining because it is Ole time. So let's go with a surf attack. And bam. Just like that. Beautifly defeated. Okay, alrighty. And everybody else is getting some points. Shadow Eye as well. And it's learning power gem. This move right here is a This is a very, very powerful move. And Holy crud. Okay, so this one will never miss. It's a physical move. You know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Yeah, okay, so Shadow Eye learns Power Jam, and there we go. We are very, very strong. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next spot right here. Let's go ahead and surf and see what else we can actually find right here. So, as you guys can see, bam, look at this. And you're going to be finding a fisherman. And before you do anything, there is, well, there is a secret base right here. And we're not going to be doing anything right there. And there's nothing. And that just sounds like a Atropius right there. Especially when lightning's uh, involved. There's nothing special with this Tropius. So we're just going to leave it alone. I'm always in the look for a special Tropius. And what's going to happen here is we're going to go with Thunderball. And uh, let's see what happens right here. You spoke to me. So you want to challenge me? Sure, I'll try out the Pokemon I caught while surfing. Hmm. Caught while surfing. Here we go. Fisherman Eugene coming out with a Carvana. That is an interesting Pokemon. But I'm coming out with a Thunderball right here. Oh, man. This Pokemon both fast and elusive. Oh, yes. Here we go. Charge Beam doing it from its head. And there you go. Carvana defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So there's that. And, well, let's see. He's coming out with another Carvana. So let's continue on right here. And use this. Charge Beam. For the win. And would you look at that. Oh, yes. Yeah, he's not feeling good after all. And, well, that gives us just a little bit more points. Ole grows to level 43. Here comes Phoebus, and, well, Phoebus right here is an interesting Pokemon because it's right around the lines of, uh, <laughs> it's right, right around the lines of, uh, what's his name, of Magikarp in the sense that it's just a weak, weak Pokemon, but then once it evolves, oh, it becomes special. It becomes super special. So what's going to happen is we're going to be moving on right here. Believe it or not, you can find a few bass around here. It's just, it takes, it takes skill. Lots of skill. So, let's go right here. Now, if you guys can see, we have quite a few wingles. If you talk to this lady, she's going to be like, look at you, you must be tired. Why don't you and your Pokemon take a rest here? And, yes, we are resting. Okay, alrighty, so we're rested. And, well, let's see, what, what does she have to say? I heard somewhere there is a cave called the Cave of Origin. They say that the spirits of Pokemon that are revived there. Could something like that really happen? Possibly. Probably. And you know what? We're not going to waste any more repels because we need to move on right here. And, well, let's see. This guy right here is going to be like, I thought how I thought how you fly is by catching a whole flock of bird Pokemon. And by then hanging them onto somehow. But it turns out that you need a nature move called Fly. I don't know. In my in my way, my dream came true, but I also feel like I lost it in my dream. It feels so, very, really strange. 
So, yeah, don't you feel a little dumb? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm not calling them dumb, but you are dumb. And, well, look at this. We found ourselves a Gloom. Gloom, of course. You know, that's a nice Pokemon I actually have. Can evolve into two different types of Pokemon. That's awesome. And, well, let's see. Moving on forward, you're going to be finding... You're going to be finding yourself some pretty cool uh, Hondu berries right here. And it looks like that secret base is open. Now, remember, after the whole Lati event, especially the Generation or the 5th Badge event, and you get online, you will be able to update the... You will be able to update different uh, secret co secret areas. So right here, I don't know what the name is. We just found somebody's, yeah, we just found somebody's uh, secret base right here, and we got ourselves one flag, and the name is oh wow he is a uh, okay so he is the leader of this, and every single time you battle the leader of their uh, secret base, this guy would love to battle you. And will also give you a, a hidden item. Now, here's the tricky part. Him and his crew are usually overpowered people. As you guys can see, this guy is coming out with a blast toys. Now, I have no doubt in my mind that this guy has a mega stone with his Pokemon. So we're gonna try and get this guy down. And as you guys can see, yes, he does have a mega stone, and this is the first case of mega evolution. That right there is a mega. Yeah, Mega Blastoise. Holy crud. So, yeah. This is going to be the battle of our lives. Now, this is a good thing. A very, very good thing. Because um, what ends up happening right here is that every single time you battle a secret base person, you will be getting a boatload of points. It's not like in the older versions where you have the link cable and all that stuff. You won't be getting any experience points. That's ridiculous. This right here literally powers you up. And, well, everybody else is getting something. And here comes Hone Edge. Hone Edge is a Pokemon from the Kalos region, which, uh, you know, we got to risk it all right here with Tommy JDF. And, uh, well, Hone Edge, Steel type Pokemon. Not the best Pokemon right now, but, yeah. There we go. And sometimes you'll be finding some trainers with some messed up effects, abilities, strategies, and all that stuff. So this right here, you guys are seeing the very first battle, or my very first battle, in a secret base. So let's go right ahead. Now, the fun thing about this, too, is that once you defeat or get defeated by, by one of these people, your Pokemon are healed right away. So you don't have to worry about a single thing about this. So let's go straight for a discharge attack and... Honchko looking pretty big right there. So, if you guys want to fill up your Pokedex, this is probably the way to go, too. And there you go. I don't know this person's name, but we just defeated you. So, if you're watching my video, my bad, bro. Not really. And, well, good battle. Come and play sometime. Do you need something else? Not really. Now, we're only going to battle him because he usually has... Uh, or the leader usually has a, a very, very good... Uh, a very good team so there we go a good uh, battle now I mentioned early on a few episodes ago to get yourself the acro bike right here so if you go if you jump to the side you'll be able to find this area right here and it has one or two places you can actually find a secret base in two different areas right here which you know come to think of it this isn't a very very bad place to get yourself a secret base but I'm not much of a lightning kind of person, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and move out of the way and there we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm trying to get the heck out of here. So okay, hold on. There we go. That's how you do it. Okay, and just to add some measures to this whole thing, let's go ahead and use a super potion. That way we don't have to worry about anybody else right here. So. Let's go and do that. And, oh yeah, we are going up right here. And, yes, yeah, so you're going to be finding yourself some interesting Pokemon trainers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out to both Latios and Gaia the Fierce Knight. I think it's time to let out Latios, or Latios, I should say. And, well, look at this. 
All right, you're first trainer we've met since we formed our team. We're Brains and Brawn. Get ready, because we're here we come. Oh, you're the first trainer we've met since we teamed up, and, uh, okay, so, yeah, I'm not rereading that, so. Let's get it. Here we go. And here we are taking on Brains and Brawn, Jail and Kale. Jael and Kale. Wow. Can't pronounce the name right, so there we go. Latias and Gaia the Fierce Knight. And... Dancing Gleam gets both Pokemon. And we should probably go with a Dragon Breath. Now, I know that I can Mega Evolve my Kadabra, or not my Kadabra, but my... What's his face? Um, my Latias, but I'm not going to do it right now. It's going to be for more important battles. And here we go. Dazzling Gleam defeats both our Pokemon. And there you go. Oh, my God. Okay. And there's some growth. Guy of the Fierce Knight, level 41. And look at this, Latias, level 33. And anybody else? Nobody else. Okay. Jael and Kael. Yeah, that's how you pronounce their names, I guess. Okay. So let us move on right here. And look at this. This is pretty awesome. Just going through the uh, through through the bridge right here. And this guy's probably going to have some Grass-type Pokemon. So let's see. Do you use Detector Mode in the Dex Nav? Apparently, the more you encounter the same Pokemon, the better uh, the search function will be. Inaccurate search of capability allows you to find rare Pokemon. They say that you can find Pokemon with strange moves or rare abilities, which, you know... This is what this game is all about. You're just capturing the rarest Pokemon and all that stuff. Um, kind of makes it difficult because it's like back then I liked it when it was just one Pokemon and I didn't care about their stats. But now it's like, okay, now I got to find the rarest Pokemon. And here we are taking on Pokemon Ranger Jackson. And he is coming out with a Surviper right here. Alrighty. Let's get it, Gaia. Let's do it. And let's go with a Psychic Attack. Alrighty. And this Psychic Attack works like a charm. There goes Surviper, not liking himself, and well, Shadow Eye right here grows levels without doing anything, and here comes a Vigoroth, so let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's go with Tommy JDF. Okay. Alrighty, yeah, we're destined to battle everybody in here. And, well, Pokemon Ranger Jackson is looking like, okay, let's do this. Let's go with Double Kick. Alrighty, alrighty. There's one. And Vigoroth has been defeated. And Tommy JDF just taking it every single point he can. And yeah. <laughs> so let's see. Does he give us a berry? No, he doesn't. Yeah, he's not one of them helpful Pokemon Rangers. And here we found ourselves a PP Max. That's pretty good. And let's see. What else can we find? Nothing except for... More Pokemon and more Mayhem. I'm going to grab this because, as you guys can tell, there's a trainer waiting for us right there. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and use Shadow Eye this time. I haven't used this guy. And, let's see. If you're not on guard, you're in for some pain. Hmm. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and take on... Let's take on, uh, uh, what was his name? Takashi? Please don't let it be Takashi69, because seriously, that's not right. Okay, so here we go, taking on Coughing, and we're gonna go with the Sen head Headbutt, and Gyro Ball hits us pretty good. So here comes the Zen Headbutt, and that right there, bam, wins it. Okay, alrighty, and there goes Takashi, yeah, his name was Takashi. I feel sorry for him. Okay, so let's move on right here and not get attacked by any more Pokemon. Yes, we're going to be using another Repel because, yeah, we don't need that kind of mess. And, uh, well, actually, let's go. Conti let's continue on with Shadow Eye right here because this guy hasn't been getting a lot of love. And I'm just waiting for you, homeboy. I'll show you the true potential of my bird Pokemon. Hmm... Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Bird Keeper Phil, and he is coming out with his Doe Duo. Alright, Shadow Eye, let's do it. Let's get it. And we do have a move for this, we're just going to have to take a hit. 
And here comes the pluck attack, and that is not effective, but here comes the power gem attack. And that is super effective. Yeah, this Pokemon, it's not slow, it's just the stall. And I see why the stall would be good, but then again, I don't know. What am I? You know, strategic and all that stuff? I only ever started to be strategic, and well, here we have another guy. The vast sky holds untold promise. Nothing can compare to the sheer ex acceleration of flight. Hmm. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Hugh. Not our rival, but you know what I mean. All right, let's go, Shadow Eye. Time to do it. All right, get a hit, and then take... Well, take a hit, and then get a hit. So here we go, Power Gem. And here comes an Aerial Ace attack. Not so effective, but here comes the Power Gem. And just like its name, it becomes a power. Alrighty. Okay. And there you go. You has been defeated. And, well, let's see. What is next? Nothing else. Uh, You know what? I kind of feel like there's a hidden item right here somewhere. Nope. Nothing. I'm just wearing these Bumblebee antennas. And... Uh-oh. There is a rare Pokemon a foot and it's the same tropius you gotta love its roar right here and this guy is at level 33 that's the only thing that it's telling me that it's a uh, you know the rarity of this pokemon and there we go let's see what this is all about so here is a level 33 tropius that could be you know, the only thing going for this. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to try and capture this guy. And... Well, Headbutt doesn't affect this Pokemon. So, let's go with a Power Gem. Hopefully, this doesn't uh, defeat this Pokemon. It has Leaf Tornado. And... Wow, this is going to be something... This is going to be something right here. So, here comes a Headbutt. Doesn't affect my Pokemon. And... There we go. Okay, so, yes. We're going to try and capture this guy. Rename or name it Tro uh, Tropicana because yes, I am one of those dudes now. I have become one of those dudes that captures a Pokemon for its rarity, you know, whatever it has. And there we go, guys. We caught ourselves another Tropius. And we caught a male version too, so that's a big plus, I guess. And Tommy GDF grows to level 48. Let's go ahead and re or name it again Tropicana. Trumpy Canna. Tropicana. There we go. We will see you a little bit later on. Alrighty. Okay. And yes, you have been transferred. So let's see. Let's see where we're at. Okay, so as you guys can tell, we are here in front of the Weather Institute, and uh, yeah, this is where we're going to be stopping our our episode. In the next one, we're going to be going through the whole events of the Weather Institute. I see that there is a uh, there is a secret base right there that needs to be explored. We will be there too. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for you know being supportive as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.